Hey, Nighthawk Gliders. I'm Brad. Bruce is filming. I'm Nate. Nate! The RC Sailors. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for having this fun fight. Thanks for coming. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to Nighthawk Gliders. I'm Brad. Today we're going to recap uh, the day that we had um, in learning how to fly with Nate Sailor. Nate Sailor from the RC Sailors channel. Um, spent a little time with uh, Bruce and myself. And we got to fly buddy box with him, which was awesome because I've never flown an RC airplane before. And so I had a great time and you'll get to see it right here. Thanks guys. I'm gonna do buddy box with him. I've never flown before, so either it's gonna be epic awesomeness or epic fail. So we'll see, I don't know. This plane has already seen an epic fail, so <laughs> we don't, we're not doing that today. We, we got this, this is gonna be good. All right, I, I trust you Nate. Okay. I think you got some experience. That's yours. All right. Planes. Uh, you're mainly going to focus on mostly the right stick. Okay. Okay. The left stick is your throttle. Yep. Uh, so if you want a little bit more throttle, you just can inch it up and it's going to stay right there, just okay. like I'm doing on mine. Yep. And then the left stick is your rudder. Okay. And you really, unless you're landing in a cross breeze or something or doing a knife edge, you're not going to use a lot of rudder. Gotcha. So today you're going to bank and yank, which means. Uh, let's say the plane's facing away from you. And yep. You want to turn left. For this plane, you really just need to bank left a little and it's going to self center, but slowly. If you want to turn sharp, you're going to bank your wing to the left okay. and then pull back on the rudder a little and it will help it turn a little sharper. Gotcha. So this banks the wing, which is how you're going to turn. Mm -hmm. That's elevator up to get the nose to climb, and that's elevator down to get the nose to drop. You're not going to do that, like, at all, really. Unless yeah. it starts to climb because of some wind or something, and you just want to level it back. Gotcha. But I've got a switch to save you. Okay. Now, so, how, does, how does it change between you and control versus me? Are they both in control at the same time? Oh, you got it. Yep. Okay. So, uh, while I'm flying, this is normal, and I'll have control like this. Okay. If I want you to have control, I hope this switch up. Makes sense. And so we're going to leave your throttle at about half while we're flying so that when I give you control, you're not going to be completely dead. You're going to already have gotcha. half throttle. So really, you really only have to worry about this. Okay. And um, we'll just kind of go we'll go with it. We'll, see how, you, we'll yep. see how you do. And if you do awesome, we can do some loops. And Good. Stuff. Okay, throttle down. Okay. And so when I, when I turn mine on, I have to hold my pass-through switch. I'll turn this on and it'll say searching. And now you can turn yours on. Yeah. It should just take a second or so, and the searching will go away. Yeah. Once they hook up. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And so now I just connect the battery, and uh, I gotta get the battery. <laughs> <laughs> now this flies 100% better with a battery than it does without a battery. <laughs> we guessing. use. But it's a lot safer on the ground than in the air, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right as well. This is a little LiPo alarm. I don't know if you guys use these. They're about a buck or two each, sometimes cheaper. And you plug it into your balance lead like this. It doesn't have to be plugged into the plane. I like to cover it up because it's loud, but you can hear it Dang, pretty loud. Cool. And it keeps track of your voltage. You can read to see how many volts each cell has. It's pretty bright, so you can't really see yeah. it out here. Yeah. But when the battery gets low, um, and you can set the voltage cutoff, it'll beep really loud so you never damage your batteries. Because you could fly this until it's just completely out of juice, and that's how you can kill your batteries super fast. Gotcha. So, LiPo alarms, a dollar will save you hundreds of dollars. Yeah. yeah that's that's something cool. I haven't got yet. I need to get. Yeah. Very cheap. I, I get mine on Amazon and eBay. A little bit of Velcro in here to hold the battery in place. I really wanted to take off. <laughs> I was just trying to get away with that. Now when we're in the air, yeah. you'll notice maybe a half second delay or so okay. on the controls. Uh, you'll want to kind of lead on it on the buddy box system. There's just a little bit of delay. I don't think I'm going to notice. Why? Probably not. <laughs> just, you might. You might. Okay. Okay. There's a plane. He's, I think he might be late. He's coming in.
touch and go. Taking off, Dan. Are you going to have to battle up already? Uh, no. No? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's go. Go ahead. I'll get it a little higher and go from left to right, and then I'll tell you when you have control. I just want you to hit the controls a little bit so you know what it feels like. And I'll save you. Okay, you got the controls. Okay, unfortunately the video stopped a little short. Um, I got to fly it around for a few minutes. Uh, you only got to see a very brief moment of me actually flying. Uh, again, my very first time flying. I had a, just a wonderful time. Uh, Nate was a great coach. Uh, you know, he taught me the basics. And uh, he even said that uh, regarding uh, being a beginner, I was better than most. And uh, I was very pleased with that. Bruce, on the other hand, he is a little bit more experienced pilot. He's built his own RC planes before. He's built um, RC quads before. And he actually flies his own, he has a glider he flies. Uh, maybe we'll get video of that someday. Uh, but, you know, he's got more guts than I do. Uh, so with a little bit more experience, I think Nate was a little bit more relaxed with him. So check it out. There's about a half second delay yeah. on the buddy box. Okay. Kind of takes a minute to get used to. Yeah because we're wireless and this is maybe two or three years old now. Yeah. The technology. But other than that, it works really well. When I take the controls, there's no delay. But for the, for you, the student training, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a small I can delay. see where you get a little bit touchy because it's a little, when you pull up, it takes a while to go up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love the gunship. Okay, Nate, I see your challenge of trying to keep this in view when you guys fly. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, planes are hard. Abby does a great job. A lot of times we use DSLRs with zoom lenses. Yeah. Well, I just got my cell phone, so, you know, I'm really hacking it. Good look. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, He's a little high, too, so that does make it hard to film. Sometimes when we're doing our videos, we intentionally fly really low uh, just so we can film yeah. the, the vehicle because <laughs> it's it's nice to fly at that height because you can do what you want and you have cushion but to film something you got to fly low yeah have to and slow how's it feel Bruce yeah. nice he's pulling off some loops <laughs> Okay, stop the video. So Bruce decides to come around and land. He didn't ask Nate. Nate, calm, cool, collected. And I don't know if you noticed it in the questions that he asked Bruce. He was, you know, shoring up whether or not Bruce was capable of making a good landing. And I'll tell you right now, I was sweating bullets. I think we need to reenact that moment right there. However, I only had one camera that could show you the airplane landing. We'll see that in a second. But I also think we need to reenact how Nate behaved in that situation, how Bruce behaved in that situation, and my behavior as well in that very same situation. Um, so these are the moments. I'm trying to land. Yeah. Whoa, Bruce, do you know what you're doing? Feel confident? Yeah. Nate, talk him out of it. Come on. It's all yours. Nothing I can do to help you. Yeah. Dude, seriously. You're really going to do this? Yeah. Got a little 
Not in the valley. So. Um, last minute throttle made the plane flip over, perhaps a delay in the buddy box. We had to run out in the field and assess the damage. On the field. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go. I'm going to disconnect the battery here. That was, no, that's so the right aileron's sticky now. Uh, I think the wing came disconnected, so it needs a little work before she'll fly again. But I ruined it. it. No, hey, right. it wasn't me, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> It'll fly. <laughs> okay, so no damage on the plane. Um, that was great. Um, so the plane lives to fly another day. That thing is indestructible. That Tundra, absolutely amazing. Now we got Bruce working on the uh, control arms for the ailerons. He's attaching those. Scratch belt's looking pretty good. It's a little breezy today. Hopefully things will settle up a little bit. And uh, we'll have a good flying day. Weather's holding off. It's getting sunny too. So Bruce was eager to give a test flight on this airplane, at least a test toss. Uh, and Nate came along to give us a few tips. Probably want to walk out on the field. On the field. The middle of the field. Nose right into the wind. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, <we're not> <laughs> Here, before you do any more toss tests, let's see how it goes a little more, okay? Yeah. I mean, before you change your prop, do you want me to? Yeah, give it a good throw. Okay, no problem. Yeah. You're just a little up elevator. It's Definitely nose good. heavy. All right. Definitely nose heavy. So if you can, just move your battery back. So you might need fairly significant, like, Wait, up there. there. That's yeah. where we had it first time, but it seemed when I did this far, it seemed like it was too, too tail heavy. It feels good. Yeah. That could be the way. It feels really good yeah. there. Give me some up elevator. Okay. All the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. If it goes nose up, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Grab me my Okay, ready? Yeah, go for it. That's better. That's better. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I think it'll fly. All right. Sorry about your problem. Here, it's all right. We, yeah, thanks, we Nate. We brought an extra one. Huh. <laughs> I think everyone. Really Later that day, Bruce did fly the airplane, and um, well, he had mixed results. It was a little too breezy, and he had a hard time controlling it. But in the end, it did fly. Unfortunately, no video. Apologies. Uh, maybe next time. Take care, guys. We'll see you again in the next episode.